So I didn't want to cover this at all because I didn't think this was serious or maybe he was just a complete buffoon. But this uh, Beaky Buzzard from Looney Tunes tatted up as uh, an absolute moron. And I'll explain why. GTA, GTA, we gotta talk. GTA, we gotta talk. Y'all playing with my intelligence. It been mad days. This is a final warning. I just came back from Miami. Just came back from California. Talked to both my Jewish lawyers. We send you a letter. We are waiting for a response. If we don't get a response by after my birthday, which is January 11th, we're going to take legal actions. If you can't tell, that's pretty spot on. I don't know. His overbite makes him look like Beaky Buzzard from the Looney Tunes. If you don't remember him, he was that guy with the you know, unusual bent neck, the buzzard. Quite literally, he was a vulture. But yeah, this dude is literally trying to go... He's literally redone his whole entire persona around being a GTA character now. And to be honest, this is... I don't know if this is a smart move or a dumb move. You can't tell because... The way he acts and the way he presents himself shows a man of a very low intelligence or maybe a guy that's just so fucking smart he's outdoing everybody. Now, let me go ahead and explain what I mean by that. So, if everybody's not caught up, this dude is literally trying to sue GTA. So, or, sorry, I say literally, he is openly talking about suing GTA with his Jewish lawyers, which he has said. Not me, him. Apparently, them being Jewish is going to definitely turn the tides. But the thing is, he's trying to sue them for something that, technically, if he could sue them, DC could sue him. I don't think he understands. And not to mention his tattoos, there's so many people that have Joker-esque style tattoos that have also been in jail. That's been indicted on multiple charges. It's, it's not, like, unheard of. A lot of these people that have these Joker-style tattoos usually have been arrested. I think it's just ironic he thinks he's the only one. But it's because he's from Florida. But I don't know if he understands this. GTA doesn't take place in Florida. Now, they took a few liberties in making fun of Florida because I believe Spice is Vice City. Vice City basically takes place in, like, Miami, essentially. That's what Vice City is. So, I think it's kind of funny that he thinks that he's going to essentially sue them. Now, I think this is what's going on, the, the true thing, is where he's actually doing, like, a 140 IQ thing. So, he talked to... Or he was, uh, uh, TikTok, uh, stitched, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know all the terms. But the voice actor for Arthur Morgan in the Red Dead Redemption 2 pretty much stated, hey, you know, I'm just going to let you know, you don't sue them for likeness, considering the fact they know what they're doing. They've been sued for multiple things for multiple years. I mean, you can, the list goes on. And this is not the first time that they have actually been looked to be sued anyway for likenesses. If you don't remember, it was Lindsay Lohan like 10 years ago for one caricature of a girl on one of the loading screens and on quite a lot of the, uh, you know, stuff for it. It was that one girl with a phone with the uh, pair phone doing that. That's simple. And it's because she did something similar to that, even though every single lady on Instagram has a picture like that, especially back in around 2010. But this dude is, I think, doing, a, like I said, about 140 IQ move. Where he took what the guy said, pretty literal. When he said, just go ahead and, you know, ride the train. You know, go with the, uh, with the fame it'll give you. Don't try to sue it. I think he's using the lawsuit and that entire, you know, bit of, uh, he's using all the clout surrounding this and the negative that he can to promote himself. And eventually he'll probably do an actual full-on, like, merch. Because if you really think about it, I don't think somebody would be so stupid to keep talking about suing them while actively making fake like GTA style videos where he's like the GTA character and he's, you know, committing like GTA online crimes in one of the videos. You need to go through it. He does quite a few of them. Honestly, I think that's what he's doing. He's just trying to commit to the character that he's trying to sue for. And this is one of those like Eureka, I got a bulb up my ass and it's lit up. It's not too, not too stupid. At least not too stupid for a person like this. I assume He's just, he's just doing what he can to make some dollars now that he knows how to do it. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out with a video in six months or even when it finally releases and him going, yeah, I fooled you all and pulls out all that Amazon for motion picture only money to pretend like he made just so much bank when really he made like 500 bucks and like three pennies.
Because it's always people like this that want to try to be the lowest common denominator and sue for everything. So that's not going to be unheard of. I know it sounds like I'm kind of sitting on the fence on this one, but it, it's very... You don't know what people are doing anymore. I mean, people, you know, people just lie straight through their teeth. They constantly want to put themselves in, you know, very bad predicaments as much as they can. Because this is just, you know, the future we have now where people will sue to get what they want. Or, you know, they'll fake lawsuits to get what they want. Or they always just come out with clout just to try to make some money off the back end of something. And I mean, the, like I said, the dude dyed his hair purple to match. You can't get any closer to just, you know what, I'm butt hurt and I, you know, I'm going to make some money off this one way or another. Because honestly, the Florida Joker is not the first time I've seen a Joker face like tattoos or Joker-esque tattoos. And that's what I don't understand. This guy is obviously needing some help. He's a complete loon uh, to begin with because I'm pretty sure he was genuine in his first stance of wanting to sue. I think now after the whole thing with the guy from uh, RDR2, I keep forgetting his name. But Arthur's voice actor telling him you need to ride this and try to make something of it. He's basically doing that. He's riding the whole thing and he's actually trying to make money out of it. So yeah, that's about all I got to say about this today. Y'all have a good one.